Hello, everybody. Just going to give it a second for you guys to hop on here. Hi, D. Long time no see. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> D, are you laughing at me? <laughs> I screwed up, D. I know I don't do that too often. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, so I want to thank um, Crazy Paper Chick Alicia, who's my upline for Stampin' Up, and Deborah, and also um, Sherry. You guys uh, nicely told me, hey, Nancy, you screwed up. These stamps are not retiring. Um, I posted a live yesterday where I said, Stamp it up is retiring all these stamps. And I was a little upset about it. And um, apparently some of these stamps are not retiring. Yay! Um, what they're doing is they're reformatting them. So I guess they are going to change these to a different type of stamp. Like some of these are clear mount, so they're going to change them to cling mount. I don't, I don't exactly understand it, but I did post on my Facebook page. Um, if you have not, there's a list and it's called carryover stamps and it lists all the stamps and it says these stamps will be offered in a clear mount and or wood mount while supplies last until the 2019, 2020 annual catalog begins, at which point they will be transitioned to cling mount. So, I don't understand what that exactly means. I guess that means they're going to go to photopolymer. I don't want to say anything wrong, but I just want to tell you the stamps, what they are. Hi, Robin. So, if anybody can clear that up for me, I would appreciate it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So these stamps um, are available and then they're going to change the format of the stamps. So Winter Woods, I didn't have this on yesterday's list anyway, so this one doesn't matter. But I was upset. Dandelion Wishes so it is not retiring, but it will change from a clear mount to a cling mount, which I guess just means it'll have the, it, there'll be photopolymer. Is that what it means? Wait, wait, we got comments going on here. I think there isn't cling mount rubber, the patty bag. I guess. I don't know. But they are not retiring. Hey, Kiki. Hi, Belinda. Okay, so Dandelion Wishes, not retiring. Flourishing Phrases, I did find both of the boxes. And Flourishing Phrases has this with sympathy that I probably use the most out of this set. Very nice set. Um, so this is a two-part set, and I do like this for the background and so on. Um, beautiful you. Yay, not retiring. Yeah, I know. So I don't know why they're saying, well, they're saying this is clear mount. Clear mount. They're not cling mount. They're clear mount. They're changing to cling mount. I think what that means is they're putting that new super sticky stuff on there. Let me check this. Let's see. You know how they changed their labels to the impossible to remove super sticky mount now? Maybe that's what they mean by it. Yeah, this is not that super sticky. That's what they mean. They're going to go to the super sticky tape on everything. That's what they mean. Which, I don't know why I make a big deal about it because... I think everybody just assumed if you got a new printed one, it would be the new sticky mount stuff. I don't think any of us buys our stamps by the way they're mounted. That's not true. I like to buy photopolymer stamps as my first choice because of the way they mount. But yeah, this is the regular clear mount, not the cling mount. So there we go. There's the clarification. So this is the not sticky. You know, it's the, the sticker that does no good. Um, so they're going to move everything to that new super sticky stuff. So that's what it means. That's what it means. So if you don't like the super sticky tape, order these stamps now. Hi, Tina. Yes, Belinda, you got that right. Okay. So these are clear mount. They're going to go to the super sticky clear mount, cling mount. 
Sorry. All right. So these are the ones that I have on my list. Again, the list is posted at Nancy Stamps uh, 15 at Facebook. If you want to see the list, I posted it, which um, you guys sent to me. Here's Beautiful You. And again, Beautiful You is a two two part set, just like Flourishing Phrases is. Barn Door. I love Barn Door. So the, out of the ones I said yesterday, retiring, these are not retiring. They're just changing them from uh, cling, from clear mount to cling mount. God, it's so confusing. All right. Oh, Kiki, if you are new to stamping, Beautiful You is so easy to stamp. It has these lovely ladies. I have this lady. Let me see where I have her. I think I stamped her in my media journal. Here we go. I stamped her, colored her with Copic markers, and did brush shows in the background. So I wanted to come on and apologize to everybody for my confusion. I just assumed all these stamps were retiring and Stampin' Up! had lost their mind, but I was wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. That's all. Want a sneak peek of the video that I'm rolling up now? All right, are you guys sitting down? Oh, Belinda, I'll show you brush shows. Give me one second. So I just filmed the video where I had painted this galaxy background on watercolor paper with the Arteza gouache color paints. And then I ran it through my Cameo and let the foil quill foil these. Look at this constellation background. So I'm slowly learning how to use this foil quill and make cool stuff with it. Uh, Kiki, if you can tell Brittany this is what she was supposed to be doing yesterday. <laughs> so loading this video now that was using the gouache colors from Arteza and some watercolor paper and then brush shows. I'll show you real quick here. They are watercolor pigments and there's a five pack in the current Stampin' Up! catalog, which is, they are going to retire. Um, let me just look it up and tell you what colors they are real quick. And I had always wanted to try brush shows, but I wasn't so sure about, um, you know, where to get them. Because I always thought that they were like a UK based product. And when they came out in the Stampin' Up! catalog, it was one of the first things I picked up. Okay, so here we go. Brushel Crystal Color. You get five colors for $30. The colors are um, Brilliant Red, Gamboge, Moss, Green, Prussian Blue, and Yellow. So you get your five primary colors there. Um, or sorry, you get your three primary colors plus you get your two secondary colors that are mixed. Um, but these are some others. Like I picked up this lime green and I picked up this turquoise from some other stamp shows. And there's a couple ways you can use them if you've never used them before. Let me grab another piece of watercolor paper here. Actually, we'll go right into, we'll go right into the mixed media book. Cause that's what it's there for, right? So a couple different ways you can use them. They're crystal watercolors, crystallized watercolor pigments, and you can wet your paper. So I just have a distress sprayer and you can gently mist your paper and then put your colors down. And you'll see it's like pixie dust, like magic. It'll just spread that color around. I'm going to put all these colors down and then we'll spray them all at the same time. A little bit goes a long way with these guys. Yes, Belinda, very much like color burst powders. 
I don't have any color burst. Okay, so all you guys see is just like some sprinkles there. It doesn't look like much. And then what we're going to do here is take more water to it. And this is where you're going to see those colors come to life. Life. So you can keep adding water, keep adding colors, keep mixing them up. Um, and if you wanted to, you can go in and actually watercolor with them, like a traditional watercolor. But it's a pretty neat effect, um, very similar to, you know, when we watch embossing powders dry, we're like, ooh, ah, well, it's the same thing with the brushes. You know, you get this cool, fun color effect. The other thing you can do with these is sprinkle them onto your workspace, add water, and then pick the color up like a regular watercolor and paint with them in your traditional way. But I love doing this spray splatter technique because I think it just looks so pretty. <laughs> Kiki says it looks like fish food. Yes. And then here, you know, if, if you don't think it's dark enough, you can add more colors. So I started off with the five pack from Stampin' Up. And then as I went through sh to sh different shows and realized, okay, I like the way that these work. And I just added a couple more colors to my collection. I don't have that many. I only have maybe 10. I don't have a whole bunch, but I just added like, I think I picked up uh, this turquoise, the lime green, a purple. And I think a brown I picked up. And then you can either choose to heat set this or just let it dry naturally. But it's cool because you have those crystal effects in there, the little speckles. So then I would just let that dry and then later on stamp over it. Um, I actually got a new brush to try out some new uh, fairy backgrounds from Lavinia. She uses a lot of brush shows and one of the tools that she uses is a fan brush. And so yesterday I just picked up a brand new fan brush. They haven't even opened it yet. So it has the plastic on it um, to do brush shows. And what she does is she gets them wet um, on her palette here. I'll show you what she does. Just grabbing a different color. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to sprinkle this over to the side here. This is purple. And I don't recommend opening these caps. They do have these, you know, like you can remove this. I just put a push pin because if you open the caps and God forbid this stuff gets out like glitter, you'll never get it out. And then everything's going to be stained with color. We're going to use the new fan brush. So there you can see the purple. So now we're not going to have the speckles, but we're going to have this beautiful wash of watercolor. And be able to splatter that in. Or like I said, you can always pick it up and paint with it. And it's just like watercolor. The more water you add to it, the more it's going to uh, make that translucent. So it's not as saturated. The less water you add, the more intense your color is. And they do dry back a little bit. Very easy to clean up. Just some water, paper towel, 
wipe it up. All right. So if you guys are interested in those, I'll link those for you. They are going to be retiring from the Stampin' Up! catalog. <laughs> this brush can also be used to uh, apply highlighter to the cheekbones, says Kiki. Kiki is a makeup booty guru. She likes her makeup, makeup videos. Uh, Kiki, Tina wants to know why she hasn't seen your smile in a while. She misses you. Tell her, Tina. Let me read you guys' comments. I'm sorry, D. Kiki says, don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Kiki. I don't have my assistant. She's asleep on the couch. She had a good day today. Tomorrow, she is going with her brother to her brother's father's house. And they are going on Easter egg hunt. What other questions do you guys got? I'm getting to like the color burst and shimmer parts. Yeah, Dee, I haven't tried the new tonic shimmer part powders. Um, they look pretty cool, but I have not had a chance to um, find them anywhere. So I'll have to just order them online right now. Not that I'm going through a spending freeze, but I did just get a whole bunch of stuff at the stamp show recently. So I'm trying to use up what I have before I go out and buy some more stuff. That's right, D. you watch the replay. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I just wanted to tell you that I made a boo-boo messed up on the Stampin' Up! stamps. If you guys can forgive me, I did not do that intentionally. I'm sorry. Um, but I do appreciate you guys sending me the email and correcting me on that. Um, D, I saw those. My only thought is I'll let you guys play with them first and then let me know. I don't have any of the aqua pigments yet. Um, so you guys, I always watch Tracy's videos. Tracy Schultz does great videos with those. So we'll keep an eye on those. Um, but that's all I guys have for you tonight. Do you guys have any questions on anything else? I'm going to upload the, um, foil quill video. So you'll probably see that tomorrow because it takes forever to upload a video. <laughs> Nora says, my husband just put me on my first craft budget. Oh man, Nora. I'm sorry. That's maybe a good thing though. Look how pretty that is. Pretty cool. Melinda well, says the aqua pigments are awesome. My neons and birthstone ones are on their way to me. Cool. Yeah, you guys play around with them. Let me know. And then, oh, Arteza shipped out the new alcohol markers to me. So I'll be getting those next week. Tracy got hers. Cool. Hi, Sally. I don't know if I saw that earlier. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Hi, Linda. Linda says, my name is also Kiki. Melinda, I have the Silhouette Cameo 2 machine. Karen on the lake stamper. Karen, can I come visit your lake? I am itching to go fishing. Kiki, I will be coming to pick up my boat next weekend, maybe. Melinda got the twin mark. Twin is it? Twin markers. Twin markers. Oh, hi, Roberta. Let me know how they are, Belinda. Oh, I got these new brushes from Joann's. This they look like unicorn horns. So of course, Leah and I had to have them. It's a three pack of brushes. They look like makeup brushes, don't they, Kiki? Um, but they're made by Plaid, and I think it was eight ninety nine for. The three brushes and Joann's let me use, I think I had a 50 or 60% off coupon. So I only paid a couple dollars for them. And this is the one I used on making that galaxy background. So I picked that up. I also picked up, well, you'll see in the foil quill video, a full size roll of hot foil. I don't have full size rolls of hot foil. I have full size rolls of mink foil. But guess what? Guess who makes it? American Crafts, who also makes the mink foil. And just to show you coincidence here. I'm 
Joann's had mink foil on sale for five forty seven, dollars And my Joann's had quite a few colors. So this one's like a holographic silver. But same exact packaging, same size foils. Um, but you do not want to mix these foils up because one is a hot foil and one is a toner foil. So if you're going to be buying your foils, keep the boxes. You do not want to mix these up. One does not work the same as the other. Melinda says the Twee markers are water-based blendable. They have brush nib and a fine tip. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to look into those, Belinda. I have the uh, real brush pens, but I'm going to try the alcohol markers first. So I just wanted to let you guys know, again, very similar foil packaging here, manufactured by the exact same company. Both of them are made by American Crafts, um, but one is a hot foil and one is a toner foil. The difference is hot foil has an adhesive built into it. So the foil quill foil. So as soon as it gets hot, that adhesive gets activated. Mink foil does not have that adhesive in it. Mink foil needs a toner or a glue to stick on. So two different machines, two different types of foiling systems, and you do not want to mix up your foil. That's a no-no. Keep them separate. Okay, guys. All right. It's, um... Getting kind of late. I do have to work tomorrow, but I want to tell you guys, if I don't jump back on tomorrow, I hope that you all have a wonderful Easter with your friends and families. Um, my sister did not invite me over for Easter. <clears throat> and I hope she feels awful about it. If she just happens to be on here right now, watching and commenting every 30 seconds, she should maybe invite me over for ham. But that's all right. No, I'm just kidding. It's just another day off for me. Um, but I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday with your friends and family. Enjoy. Hopefully the warm weather is coming your way. Um, it, I will be filming videos for you guys. So stay tuned for next week. I'm going to upload this foil quill video for you right now. But have a good night, everybody. And as always, keep on stamping. Bye-bye. Well, I'll be working tomorrow, Kiki. Too bad. <laughs> Bye, guys.